welcome to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Incorporated. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna try to do a little something different today. I'm gonna teach a, a basic choke from inside someone's guard. So breaking a couple of uh, fundamental rules. Uh, talk about why we do it, what the counters are, and uh, I'll make a little soup out of it. I hope you like. The choke I'm talking about is when you're in someone's guard, how to throw a, a basic lapel choke onto my partner. I'm breaking a couple of rules here because I'm extending my arms in someone's guard and you shouldn't do, but uh, I'll, I'll discuss that a little bit later on. The choke I'm talking about is having all four fingers in, and th sorry, all four fingers in, one keeping the thumb out, loose with the collars, and all I'm going to do is pull on one to get across the neck. I'm gonna pull onto this one, and from here, I come up on my feet, I drive my body weight, I rotate my body, get to the tap. Uh, not much to the choke, very basic. I want to get um, by the uh, mid chest. I don't want to get too close, I don't want to get too low. So right about um, mid chest solar plexus height maybe a little bit higher than solar plexus. So I want to catch my opponent off guard. I sometimes will use this from time to time when I have a hard time passing, they're not opening up their leg. I'll just pop up, come across, just come across the lapel across the throat. I will pull on the other lapel and rotate my body until I get to tap. Where this video is going to be a little bit different is uh, I taught you a fundamental choke. Now I want to teach the counter to it. And then I'm going to teach what happens when someone counters to you. So it's just sort of so you understand both sides of the choke and both sides of the counters. So Juan's going to apply this lapel choke. I mean, go ahead, Juan. He's going to stand up. I could, now for the people, some white belts and maybe low level blue belt people tap to this choke. But I just want to show you just don't tap to this choke. So when this applies, I take the forearm over top of the knuckles. This one assists. Then I use my arm and my legs and back to push him back. But then the smart people know I go to the other side. So then I use the forearm on top of the knuckles. Use the arm and some body weight over here. And then he'll continue. So another counter or defense to this choke it's just the flower sweep. So if they're standing up, they're driving all that body weight. Sometimes if this is applied to me, I try to make believe they just about have it so they can drive more weight on it. Then I trap the arm, this hand goes behind the knee. I rotate and I go ahead for the flower sweep. So let's talk about when this choke is being applied to me, on to me, go ahead one. I got the choke. I can make believe sometimes it's, it's, it's a lot of pressure. Some people sometimes will panic and tap to it. Again, those are the lower belts. Upper belts know to take a little bit of pressure on here. Go ahead one. Yeah, as he applies a bit of pressure, as I counter, I trap the arm. This hand here, I rotate to the straight arm lock. So the purpose of this video is for you to, uh, to know a lapel attack from inside the guard, but more importantly, how to defend that fundamental choke. So in theory, that choke is really not designed for the tap. That choke is more designed to bug the neck, uh, sort of force them to open up the legs, and then you can work your guard pass. So let me show you guys. Again, I'm not really a firm believer of this attack, but I just wanted to share with you guys in case someone does apply it to you and you're not aware what to do. So instead of tap, I give you some fundamental defense to the choke. When I apply this choke is more to make him think of his neck and to open up the legs and just defend it. So as I go ahead and attack the neck, he opens up, go ahead and defend it one. Right, now I'm working 
my uh, guard passing and I got a bit more options from here. So now I'm going an underleg guard pass. I could be vulnerable for a triangle, but as long as I have my triangle choke defense and that I'm aware it's potentially coming, I'm in a good position now. So guys, today's video was just to make you aware that if this choke is coming at you, not to tap to it, so you have a couple of defenses. And also it's to make you aware that if you use this choke, you're really vulnerable for arm locks and sweeps. And uh, it's just more of an attack to bug his neck, to open up his legs, so you can take advantage of that opportunity and get a head start on a guard pass. So uh, try it out, play around with it with your partner, and I hope it works out. I look forward to seeing you in the mat soon.